Hello Ben here, M7 FRS and in this video I'm going to show you how I send and receive FT8 using the Zygu G90 cat control and the CE19 breakout box. So first of all if we look at the cables on the G90 uh, we've got the CE19 breakout box plugged directly into the back of the G90 itself and then from there we've got a 3.5mm jack uh, from the AF connection on the CE19 um, which then splits in this little box here uh, this is the kit that came with the, uh, the CE19 uh, which then splits into two separate 3.5mm jacks which then just go into this little uh, USB sound card in the side of the uh, laptop or PC. Uh, we're also going to be using the cat control cable which came with the G90 so it's the, the blue chipped uh, USB and that is just plugged into the port or the lower port on the side of the, the, the head unit itself underneath the headphones jack. That can then be plugged into the PC or laptop Okay, so if we take a look at what we're going to run on the PC first, there's a couple of little bits of software we need to first of all download and uh, run. First of those is going to be FL Rig, and I'm running FL Rig version 1.4.4, and I'll put a link in the description down below as to where you can download FL Rig, and you can see that's straight away connected to my G90. Uh, but if we go into config and then setup and then transceiver. Um, you just need to make sure that your rig is set up there. So rig is obviously the Zygu G90 and there's a, a big selection uh, in the drop down box there and uh, Zygu obviously is uh, right near the end there so it's the G90. Um, you can see it's connected like I say. Uh, you need to select your COM port so I'm currently using COM port 5 and the board rate is going to be 19,200 and uh, if it's not already connected the little green indicator there shows that it is you can just hit that uh, that red button there and it should connect to the uh, to the radio so the next thing we need to do is um, run WSJTX because we're going to be running FT8 and FT4 and we'll have a look at the settings first of all so I'm going to go to configuration and you can see I've saved um, one here called G90 Cat. So if we look at uh, File and then Settings, um, you can see you've got your general settings there where you put your uh, your name, your course or your call sign, your grid square, and all that kind of thing in. And if we go to Radio, this is the important bit because. Um, we've not got the G90 in the drop down there and I say we're using FL Rig to control WSJTX so I'm going to select from the uh, the drop down uh, FL Rig there so it'll, it'll use that other little piece of software that we were just using PTT method obviously we're going to be cat control for this one and in the audio uh, like I said we're using that USB sound card so the input is going to be the USB uh, microphone and then the output is going to be the USB speakers so uh, if we click OK you can see at the moment on the screen uh, although we're all connected up to the radio uh, there's nothing coming through uh, reason being is if we go back to the radio again briefly so you can see on the radio then that at the moment I'm in upper sideband and because I'm using um, firmware version 1.79b I need to press the mode button and take us up into upper sideband uh, data modes so as soon as I've done that if we look back at the PC again you'll straight away see on the waterfall that you can start to see those FT8 signals uh, coming through uh, on the waterfall there and then the screen will start filling up straight away with uh, everything that's received. If you're not receiving anything you might need to just check the clock is um, correct because obviously FT8 uses uh, uh, very accurate times so I just use time.is and again I'll put a description in the uh, link down below or link in the description down below so you can find time.is and that's what I use just to make sure that my clock is uh, 
accurate within a few uh, few milliseconds. If I click CQ only, because there's obviously quite a lot going on on 20 meters FT8 at the moment, uh, we'll see just the, the CQ calls going down there. And if we want to change bands, uh, there you go, it's just CQ calls coming down at the moment. Um, let's just try working somewhere. So let's try working this German station. Looks like it's probably a special event call sign. So I've clicked on him, and that's Delta Romeo 100 Foxtrot Kilo. There you go, so you can see we've worked DK100 FK special event station, we've sent uh, R73. If we want to change bands now, obviously with the CAT control we can do that remotely um, with the software. So I can just go from the drop down there and let's have a look at say 30 meters. And it will uh, change the radio for us, as you can see it's uh, done that remotely. Same we could go over to uh, 17 meters. I obviously just need to remember to uh, retune the radio as we uh, as we change bands. Anyway, I hope you found that uh, little video useful. As always, if uh, you want to like, subscribe and uh, stick something in the comments, uh, we'll see you on the next one. 73.